Hello, hello guys, it's time for another game of Catan. Alright, so let's look at the board. We have 8 on clay, 8 on sheep, 6 on wood, 6 on wheat. Uh, looking at the bat, this 8-9 might be okay. This 5-4-8 is really strong. Uh, getting ore with something good. I don't know, if you're planning on going here, uh, then you're going to have to get wheat and clay and wood from somewhere else, and I don't see that easily attainable on the board. So I think just from that, everyone's going to be struggling to get uh, every resource, unless they can go here. And I do go third. Uh, if you go here, you're looking for wheat and clay, and you can't get that from anywhere. Ooh, that guy's gonna... well, I guess that's better than the five. Oh, it's the same. Unless you're building to the port, which he doesn't. Uh, so now I need to build somewhere. Uh, if I build up here, I like how much sheep I get. Uh, this might be crowded a lot. Um, if I go here, I get the sheep and the clay, then I have to focus on getting wheats from somewhere. Um, I could get it from up here, or I could, you know, do something down here. My priorities, though, are getting the ore and the wheat. There's enough wood and stuff out there for me to get, so I don't think I want to care about this too much. I think I'm going up here somewhere. So the idea with this is that I get a little bit of wheat, I get sheep, and I get ore. Um, I'm on the best ore in the game, so I can scale into late game. Uh, if I get four ore really early, uh, I can do things with them, and it won't affect my early progression that much. Um, and then, because I've taken this kind of combination of cards, I can look towards the clay and the log. Um, and then if I can't get clay or log, it doesn't matter too much, I can double down on late game stuff, like going here or here. And then I'm only missing one resource. I also, up here, I, I can easily get to a 3 for one port. Um, and then when you're doubling down and you don't get all five resources, that's what you need to do. Uh, so because blue has taken my wheat option, I would most likely end up going here, but uh, blue could easily take here as well. If he can't, if he if he's not going for ore, I think this is his best spot to take. But if he doesn't take that, there's no way red is going to take it. So I should be able to get it. But then if I do go here, I am missing uh, quite a bit of wheat. So that is a big problem. I think my spot is this 9, 10, 12. So what I'm missing now is clay and logs. And I am missing quite a bit of wheat, so I need to see if wheat is something that I should get more of, or if I should build here and quickly place a settlement here. Um, these people aren't, well he's looking for wheat, so he might double down up here. And I take his clay options. So yeah, I'm going to go here. I get my free road. I'm going to build out this way because if I build this way, I can uh, either build here or build here, depending on where people go. Yeah, so I can still get extra wheat. Uh, but I went here because I get the clay and the ore. That's what I'm missing. And then I have room to expand very quickly to this wheat. And I wasn't too worried about anyone going here because I have that as secondary option. 
Uh, so now red, I mean, they need logs so that they can expand. And if they could pick up a wheat or a sheep as well when they do that, that would really benefit them. Uh, actually, they may even want to go down here. Oh no, they they are going to go up to three for one port. So that's, I mean, that's. I don't know if I agree with that. Like it, it does block me from getting the three for one. If he views me as the strongest, it can make sense. Uh, he does get the six ore. But he's got nothing to go with that ore, and he's got nowhere to expand. I, I think he should have put his road this way, so that he can expand to that wheat. But because my port is taken away, it's very important for me to build my settlement down here. So he's taken my early game uh, dilemma of going for the port or going for wheat. Get the robber. Uh, so someone else already put it on purple and stole from them. So I don't want to make enemies. So I'm just going to steal from purple. And somehow I got an ore from that guy. So that's very beneficial. If I somehow get two 11s roll, that would be a city, but I doubt it. So these ores might be getting traded in. It's a good thing I didn't steal from blue. So there's like this idea where you put it on the guy beside you, uh, to your right, who go the person that goes before you, so that you can put it on them and then you're guaranteed at least two turns where they won't put it on you. Because uh, that's the person you're attacking. Uh, and he, here he is asking, what did I do to you? He places there. If I lose an ore, then that's not too bad either. So yeah, I, I mean, I don't need any more ore for what I'm going to do. And then this ore can act as a buffer if people steal from me. Uh, but right now I'm looking for a 4, an 11, and a 10 being rolled. Very uh, uh, scarce rolls. So I am going to have to trade this three for th this in for 4 for 1, I should say. So actually I do need one more ore. Some people will need clay. Just wonder if blue will trade it. Nope. Yeah, if I can actually use these cards instead of inefficiently trading them in, that's definitely what I should do. I don't think red will put the robber on me, so if purple rolls, they're definitely going to put it on me. Red's going to build. They're not two roads away from a port, so wherever they build. Oh wait, no, sorry, that's blue. Oh, he could build a road here and then contest for that spot. Though I do think he, oh no, he's going for the three for one there. I mean, that road building card could have been used for him to go here, here, and then build here. And potentially he wouldn't get trapped or blocked in into the small area up here. He is going to put it up here. I mean, I'm not really looking for I think I would have gone there if I could build a settlement, my fourth settlement up there. Oh, and they stole an ore, ore for me as well. Hmm. Not too bad since I could potentially trade the clay for an ore or a wheat, depending on whatever I get. There was a five rolled, so there's logs out there. Yeah, a lot of logs. I mean, purple and red, they're kind of in the same spot I am. Uh, purple especially just has a bunch of cards that don't really click together very well. 
Uh, red is low on cards, and it's because they have a 2, 3, they have an 8, 6, and a 10. That's not too much to go off of. And they need a lot more cards to capitalize on that 3, 4, 1. But blue, on the other hand, uh, with that road building card, that saves him like two roads that he has to build. So those are the two roads, the two clay, the two logs that he can build for two settlements. Uh, he can very quickly get the four points. Um, and then once he builds here, he gets even more sheep. He can really utilize that 3 for one port. That sheep can augment his lack of ore. Purple, of course, does roll a 7, so that's going to go on me. And I'm probably going to have to wait another turn before I can do anything. Unless I can trade in for a log and I get a sheep. Uh, purple did not steal from me, questionable. I get another clay, wow. I just want to see. I don't think I'll make this trade. So I need a four rolled, or I need to keep track of what everyone else is getting. Uh, so there are two wheat on, or one wheat to blue. Nothing I can work with. So I'm just in that awkward phase where I need like one card um, and I can't trade for it. I can't get it. I keep, I get, I've been robbed from. Uh, so an eight was rolled. That means there are two sheep and there's a clay on the board. So red got the clay. So if I'm trading clay, that doesn't matter for him. Uh, purple does need clay, so if they don't use a sheep, then they could be aching for a clay. They definitely do need a clay if they want to expand. They should have enough logs as well, so maybe they will trade a sheep for something. Another eight. So now they have two sheep. They will need a clay, they have two sheep, so they could trade. They, they should trade. I want a wheat. It's not really in my interest to do that. I don't know where they would have another clay from. I mean, if they have a clay in their in their hand, I don't know. I wasn't keep keeping track. Yeah, like I think that's too irresistible. They have no clay. So now I've gone the settlement. I'm ten and ten. I'm still pretty low on wheat. Um. Where do I go from here? I'm blocked off completely from here. There is argument that I should build to the 6, but then that's a lot of resources for it. Uh, there's argument that I should save for a city right now. Uh, if I get a city, argument that I should build it here. Uh, because these are very low resource cards, I'm not getting any more sheep from the rest of the game. Um, and then if I build the city here, if the 11's rolled, I get two wheat. Um, and then I'm most likely going to build another settlement over here. Uh, trade in two for one ore. I mean, without with the city here, that's pretty good. But to utilize this port, it would have to be very late game, like 
that I have all my cities built. So I would like to see building to this 3 for one port. Um, and then that way, if I can get a city on that 8 for clay, it's not too bad to trade it in. But really my expansion options are pretty poor. I might go for cities and road, uh, build three more roads, connect them, and I'm competing with blue. I actually think I have a pretty good ability to build roads. So yeah, maybe I don't go for development cards. Or maybe I do go for development cards and I don't build cities. So red hasn't been targeted by anyone, but they will go after me. I think blue's in a very scary position. But I guess to red, if you're in such a poor spot, it doesn't matter who you're, who you're putting it on. I mean, what Red should be doing is they should be building a settlement here. Uh, you know, expand to get this port pretty far away. Alright, so now I don't have, see, I don't have a 3 for 1 port. Uh, and that's a pretty bad thing. I think I hold my cards here. I could try to trade for a sheep and buy a development card. But I don't I don't see like I feel like purple can out outgross me in development cards. And until I have a city I shouldn't buy development cards. I should be saving up the ore in order to get a city, I think. And then I need to on the other side I need to expand and build a settlement over here. Uh, and what I mean by that is like... The cards I need to build over here, or at least to start building over here, have no impact on cities or development cards. So I'm kind of playing two pass right now, and they really don't overlap unless this 10 is rolled three or four times and I can trade four for one. So the weight really depends on which part I'm closer to. That trade is very worth it for me. Uh, because red is in last place, they need to build settlements. If they build cities, I don't care. If they build develop, if they get development cards, I mean, maybe they can get knights. But I don't see it with their lack of wheat. So them getting sheep, I mean, ha is it? It'll be something that helps them much later on. Not quite sure why. They traded for that so early, and they didn't really use it. And they weren't really discarding cards so they wouldn't get trapped by the robber. But purple now gets 3 for 1 port, beats me to it. If I can get an ore, that would be really good. Only one other person is going to have ore though. Yeah, so at this point I'm at 7 cards but I can't do anything. Uh, so it's a perpetual if I get stolen from. I mean I'm, I'm back down again. 
This is why getting that city over here is so important. I mean, two rolls I have four ore, compared to three rolls where I only have three. It's such a big difference, and it prevents you from potentially losing out on that on that from that second to third round where you're hoping for that ore, uh, where you might get stolen by a robber. I also have no extra cards to trade. I'm kind of at my limit here. I, I just I'm kind of going with the flow. I'm watching blue get very far ahead. The tricky thing with blue here is he doesn't have ore, and he's relying a lot on these sheep to trade in. Because everything else he has, heavily, like this 8 and these 6s, like the wheat and sheep, you have to use those for cities and development cards. That might have been worth it for me to trade, hmm. I'll see if they offer any more. I mean, I can't say no to that. Even if I get the robber, it, it really doesn't matter. This is a, like, almost a settlement for me. And this robber has been on the 9 for so long. Slight risk, but I'll, I'll take it. It's going to be very funny when I roll the robber on my turn, though. I'll have to see if I can trade uh, two ore for a clay or not, or maybe I'll just keep it, I don't know yet. I do think I want to use the cards because there's a risk I could lose them. Oh wait, that's nice. I think I trade now to see if I can get... If I can get that clay... See, I'll trade this, and then I'll try to trade for an ore, and then I'll just build a uh, a city. Purple is not responding. Hmm. See if I can get a road for an ore. So yeah, that worked out really well. I got the city, so now I'm not going to be scrounging around for these three resources when they get rolled. It really does make this 11-4 a lot, a lot better. And then I was able to get one road out of the way. I didn't lose all those cards that I traded for either. Oh, wow, that's a lot of sheep. So that's blue, he's going to try to connect his roads for the longest road. Or will he choose to build out this way and not get blocked, potentially, by uh, red? I mean, red is busy doing whatever up here, so he can safely do this. But, I mean, he can always do that at any time. I think it's more worth to try and build down here. Uh, a good 10. So now I can build another road. If I trade, I can potentially build a settlement, and I'm really catching up to uh, to Mr. Blue. Yeah, but trading four for one logs, uh, it's it's brutal. But what can I do when there's a robber on the nine? I mean, no one's trading for clay, so I, I don't think this will happen. I 
The one thing I need to watch out is if Blute decides to build his roads out here to prevent me from utilizing my roads. So Red is going to get the robber. Again, Red hasn't been attacked by anyone. I'm in the same spot as Purple. It's really blue who needs to be shut down. So he could place it on this log. He could place it on the sheep. That would really hurt Purple and Blue. But if he finds somewhere to put it on me, uh, oh. yeah, he, he is aware. So now I'm looking for a 9 and 10 to be rolled, or two 6s to be rolled. Uh, if neither of that happens, then I go another turn without doing anything. If a 4 and 6 are rolled, I might buy two development cards. I wonder if Red is going to try to prevent me from building here. That's a lot of resources to do that, though. Alright, so that's good. That's what I wanted to see from purple. So I need to attack blue. The blue doesn't get anything I need. I can't steal from red and risk him coming after me and block me from down here. I, I really need the support. Uh, like it's a top priority now that red is contesting for it. Five is rolled. It looks like uh, Red is probably capable of stealing away this uh, this position from me. Uh, if that happens, that's I'm literally building here for a victory point with no returns. My goal is to build another city. Well, my goal is to get this port, get a settlement, I'm at 5, build a city, so I'm at 6, connect the longest road. So, I need a clay, but I don't think anyone has clay. I'll make the same trade that I made with someone else. It's all off uh, purple somehow as a mysterious clay again. I mean, this is silly to trade this amount, but I think I'm out of the game. Red will trade me. I think we just helped each other. Just helping each other is a lot better than whatever else, and there is potential that the robber will be rolled. I mean, red is behind. Oh, they still need a clay. Wait, they, if they made that trade without having the ability to get a clay, then they're going to house 12 cards for another turn. No, they are going to trade in for it. Wait, what? Oh, is he going to build there? Oh, red is really good. This like That's a really good move. He also gets more logs so he can keep building out as well. Very good. So now my concern is I need to build three roads, or just two roads here, and prevent uh, blue from building out.
Uh, like if Blues can go here, then he he really prevents me from securing Longest Road. Like I can still take it, but it'll be a lot harder than it needs to be. And if I take it here, people are going to be very discouraged at taking Longest Road. If I also take it from Blue, he goes down quite a few points. So again, I think I just keep going after Blue. I believe he has a log in there. But it's whatever he has. Again, I don't want to hit red. Or purple, really. Alright, another sheep. That's good for me. I just kind of have to hold it, though. It's not too bad. That's almost a road. I just I need like a ten rolled. Oh, oh, now I'm getting now I'm getting tempted. I th I don't want to build. Well, I don't know. Maybe if I do build a city on this uh, this point right here. Someone was trading two clay for an ore. Whoa. Oh, and if they build there, maybe they don't want to build there. I gave them the opportunity to stop purple, hmm. So my current dilemma is do I, if I build a city here, I'm allowing blue to potentially block me here. And blue has to realize he needs to keep Longest Road to stay in this game. If he gets blocked off, then a lot of other people can take his Longest Road. Uh, and he can't really transition into going for cities or more settlements. Uh, so... Blue's only choice is to build out here, or to be like, okay, I'm going to put all my resources into building cities. But if he goes and builds here and then doesn't get it, then he's kind of screwed himself over. So he has to have some other plan, like build this road and then do dev cards. On my side, I can choose to put all my resources into building these two roads. I have put that on purple, but I haven't stolen from purple. Alright, so purple knows what's up. Um, so I can either build a city and then really, you know, get the 9 and 10 going and get Longest Road very easily uh, over here. Or I can just secure it right off the bat. And then I'll be at 7 points and I'll be really far ahead of everyone else. But I'm not, I'm not sure yet. Oh, this is such a hard decision. I th I think I build the city. Then I have one ore, I have five sheep. So that's one road. Yeah, I think that was my best bet. The thing here is like I can only trade this ore. So I think Blue's just made a big mistake. This is the power of a 3 for one port. Yeah, just like that, 3 or our logs. Yeah, so I think Blue now knows he can't retain Longest Road, so he's got to get uh, development cards. And then for me, once I build here, 
I can focus on uh, cities or dev cards. So looking at knights, red and purple have knights. Blue might have a knight. So I think cities is the way to go. And also with what I have, like I can build that extra fifth settlement if I need to. So now is the tricky part. Do I just build the settlement, or do I trade in, or do I hold my cards? I think I hold. Because I'm going to get a lot of logs, and I'm going to get a lot of clay. And right now I want to build cities. And having over 7 cards, you know, it doesn't matter to me right now. Because I have nothing that I need that helps me get to my goal. I think blue's in the weakest position. Red is still very weak without sheep. And they're also on double six, and then as long as this robber remains there, red is in a really bad spot. Uh, red, you know. If they win for longest road, it's I don't know where they start. Purple, I mean I don't know where they start going for it either. But I'll have at least two turns to prepare for it. Uh, if the robber isn't rolled, I should be able to build a city. And even if it isn't, I, it's pretty likely that I could build a city. My card is played, definitely going on me. It's only bad if they take a wheat or two ore. Now they're looking where the, can they hurt me the most. I actually don't think anything hurts me the most. Maybe this wheat might hurt me the most, but probably the ore. Oh, and they took an ore, but they didn't. They blocked my clay. It's very weird. Yeah, so I'm going to get attacked by everyone. That's good that a clay was stolen. Hmm, I don't, I think no matter what, I roll. Alright, so... Three of those? Yeah, I can build a city. So now, no matter where they put the robber or what they steal from me, I'm, I think my production is higher than what they can uh, dish out. Because uh, even if all three of them steal from me, and there's like one robber in there as well, uh, it doesn't really matter. And then if they steal from me, they're taking me off of my ore. He did take longest road back, so I do need to contest him for that. It's not really a problem though. It's not an issue because no one else is even close to winning and I'm I'm at like eight points on my next turn, most likely. I'd have to get rid of five cards. I would still be able to build a road and have turn two for Yeah. Unless the robber gets rolled twice, then uh, that then that's bad for me.
so with that roll, like, I will win next turn. I think. Uh, providing the robber isn't, uh... If I roll the robber, I still can take longest road back. I have to get rid of six cards. So... I'll have at least six, so I'll still have those three. Or I can get rid of six logs and build a city. That might be better. But either way, even if I have to wait another turn, I think this game is over. Unless I make a really big blunder like that. And that's it. So... Let's look at what people had. So Blue did have a victory point. But even with that, that didn't help him very much. Oh wait, no, he did have a victory point. Oh yeah, he did. So, just looking at this, I think uh, this game was won by placements. Uh, where did I go? I think I went here first, and up here. I took the best ore. Uh, it gave me some sheep. It gave me enough sheep that I could build, you know, my two other settlements. Uh, sheep's not too important. Uh, especially because I didn't have to go for dev cards. I built my settlements close so that the sheep was even less valuable to me because I didn't have to like you know build up by dev cards for knights I could I could get longest road blue didn't stop me here purple had bad priorities uh, red made a really big mistake placing their piece up here I think blue instead of taking longest road here early he should have you know built those two roads here and here and then he, when I said that I'm pretty sure red hadn't even built like didn't have anything so you know blue could have easily have built down here and escaped his path he could have retained along his road he could have forced me to have to do more like i just got my four cities that's great um but i would have still need to get development cards or build two more settlements or something like that uh instead he didn't offer that he went for the greedy play of getting along his road and I don't think he had any way of getting two knights or building two cities very fast to close out the game. So I think that was a big blunder on his part. Purple. I think... I don't know. Purple, this spot isn't too bad. But how do you capitalize on, capitalize on it? I don't know. Like, you have the ore, you need wheat. Uh, wheat was up here. You could have maybe this could have worked out. Uh, maybe you could have taken down this eight somewhere. There was nowhere for this nine, so I think purple was in a bad spot. But they decided to build here and double down on wood, and they didn't prioritize getting this uh, wood port. So yeah, I think a lot of this game came down to placements. <laughs> 